So, what do we think humans are made of? At the very basic, we know we are made of blood, flesh, bones and hairs. But flesh, blood, bones and hair too are made of other building blocks. In fact, 99.95% of our body weight is just made of 11 elements. Among them, the four major elements like oxygen, carbon, hydrogen and nitrogen forms 96% of our body. Added to this list are calcium, phosphorus, potassium, sulfur, sodium, chlorine, magnesium and it forms 99.95% of our body. But there are traces of other elements too. This includes iron, iodine, zinc, selenium, copper, molybdenum and even gold and others. Now some of these elements might be new to some of us, especially if we have not taken science after the high school. Among all the elements, major ones are called macronutrients, whereas those appearing only at the level of parts per million or less are referred to as micronutrients. These nutrients perform various functions in our body including the cell structure, the building of bones, regulating the body's pH, carrying charges and driving chemical reactions among others. Given that our body is made of many different elements, this is the reason why we need micronutrients as well as macronutrients for a well-functioning body and thus to stay healthy. You might have heard that nearly 60% of our body is water and we know water is made of hydrogen and oxygen. So hydrogen and oxygen forms a major chunk of our body. Also human body like any other life form have carbon. Carbon atom being 12 times heavier than the hydrogen atom comes second to oxygen by weight. So if we segregate all the elements in our body, it is 65% oxygen, 18% carbon and 10.2% hydrogen. Other elements like nitrogen forms around 3.1%, a pinch of calcium for the bones forms around 1.6%, 1.2% is phosphorus and around 0.25% is potassium and sulfur. With very small percentage of sodium, chlorine, magnesium and we hit the 99.95% mark explained above. Although some people argue that the human body is much more than just these elements and substance, which is quite true but we cannot deny the fact what we are made of. You might have also heard that we are what we eat. All of us were born at just 2 to 5 kgs but as we grow we accumulate mass. All the extra mass we build up over the time has either come from the food that we eat, the water that we drink or the air that we breathe. So each atom we are made of has come from somewhere else. The atom that forms our body were previously in the air, plant, animal and minerals. An average person's body is composed of about 7 billion 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 atoms. So the atom we are made of must have been in many previous and present living things including the trees, the grass, the insects, the animals or even in dinosaurs and our ancestors. Now that we know what we are made of and we just require all these elements in our body to be healthy, let's eat the good and the healthy.